Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video and today we're taking a look at what seems to be the new 2023 Trek Madone. Uh, they have some really crazy looking features on this bike. I've been waiting for something to break on this bike so I can finally kind of give my opinion on the bike. I've actually, as you guys know, I'm a huge Specialized advocate. I love Specialized, but I also, apples to apples, I do, I am a Trek fanboy as well and I do love the shape of this new redesign. Um, I think they did a great job going in the direction of it. It looks new, it looks different, and that's really all you can aim for in this bike company. There's only so much you can do to the normal traditional bicycle look, and this is something new that I think customers will probably like. My favorite thing about it is that they're gonna get rid of the ISO speed decoupler on there. Um, I've had, I've talked in this situation before. I had a bunch of people always tell me their opinions on the fact. I get uh, emails or even DMs on Instagram, people saying they really enjoy their ISO speed decoupler. Me, myself, as a bike mechanic and talking to other bike mechanics and even talking to customers who have Trek Madones, I've heard more problems than good from it. I, I know what the design is behind. I know what it's supposed to do. But I've seen a lot of it with like the plastic bushings in there kind of give way. And then it comes into a warranty issue, yada, yada, yada. And that's not what you want right now when there is no bikes available. But anyways, getting into what this bike looks like, the first overall aesthetics of it. I'm a big fan of aero bikes. I'm a big fan of this bike it's, itself, and I think it looks really sleek, really hot. Uh, there are some uh, things that I want to say about the bike, like this new, whatever they call it, the new ISO Flow. Um, is this going to be, given, like I said in the article, given the name ISO Flow, is this going to add to aerodynamics? I'm sure whatever they're designing back there, they're not just going to make this massive gaping hole and just be like, yeah, it's going to be a bunch of dirty air to fly through here. I'm sure there's some kind of design or reasoning behind it to make it look like. Uh, a more aero added benefit. Will this create more stiffness laterally as well because of the fact you're adding more bends to the carbon and making it more stiffer in that area? It could be a, a stiffer bike, which which should be nicer. Um, also with the seat post, you can see it's gonna be very limited on how much seat post sticks out. You have your very similar design to where the seat post clamps on the back, but um, you're gonna have to measure out the seat post a little bit more on there. But I'm a big fan of it. I like the look of the straight lines. I like the look of the straight down tube. Uh, it seems like the fork in the front is a little bit thicker as well. They've added as much arrow as they could possibly to the bike. Um, it doesn't have more bow. Trek is always known for the Amandas, Domani's, and the Madones, more like bow shaped kind of bikes, the top tubes and the, and the ridges. They usually follow the pattern of uh, top tube up, top tube up, uh, rear stays down. This seems more leveled off, straight down, which I think looks really sleek and really good. I always wonder when Trek was going to adopt the drop seat stays method. It seemed like they just said, screw that all together. And they just made it straight down, straight straight top tube. Uh, but the bike looks phenomenal. It seems also that they have a new handlebar situated for this bike as well. Um, we'll go right here, I'll show you in a second. They have Madone branding on here. And this is the new one by piece bar system on there. So you can kind of see, similar to what the, the Tarmac and the SL7, the Venge have that little kind of cap in the back. Yeah, like I was saying, it seems like a new bar system that they have for this integrated cockpit. Um, very similar with this kind of cover for the uh, fork steer bolt clamps right here to like the SL7 or the Venge. But I don't know if this is going to be proprietary to the bar. I, I'm giving, I'm guessing that that little headset cap space right there looks pretty proprietary to that. I'm sure you can run a different bar and stem combo because I saw a picture of another version of this bike right there in the background enhance see how this is a different that's a different bar i think in stem system it actually has a normal headset clamp right there and the cables are sticking down so i think you can run whatever you want on there and they just go straight down into the bar um it's not like the old school style where you had to run the madone bar and stem through the the spacers and that it looks like you can get away with it now but aesthetically it looks really nice they, uh, they also have the same threaded bottom rack with a T47 and then just a massive bigger head tube on there. But I'm excited to see. They haven't talked on the bike yet. They haven't said anything about like what the price points are, everything like that. I'm sure that's going to be much a good amount lighter as well if you're removing this big piece of ISO speed decoupler on there. All these extra added parts and they're actually removing parts of the bike as well. The, the down tube of the seat posts are removing some seat posts as well. It should be a lighter bike as well. Um, tire width as well. I don't see them speaking about any kind of tire width on there to see, but if I had to guess, I'm going to assume that fork blades are deep, frame tubes appear to be shaped, race to track. Um, 
I would have to assume that I probably can go up to like a 700 by 33 or 32 if I'm going to guess. Bro, get out of your ad. I'm doing a video. Go away. No. Oh. oh. But yeah, very cool looking bike. And that, that always brings me to my question of where do we go next in this world? It seems like every single year there's a new upgrade for these bikes that is so marginal and it's much more expensive of a bike. And people seem to get, they have a Tarmac S, I'll just use Specialized again because I'm familiar with them. They have a Tarmac S-Works SL6 that is a great functioning aero climbing bike. They make the SL7, it's $12,000. They part ways with the SL6. They go to the SL7, they drop 12 grand on that bike, 14 grand now. And then they're, they're hoping to be $14,000 faster when it's just a marginal speed difference from the SL6 to the SL7. So people are always wondering, where is the next uh, way to go? Companies are always looking to do something different. The Cervelo S5 with the new uh, integrated head two piece with a new one, one piece bar in there as well. Companies, it seems to be getting out of their comfort zone and trying to splurge for something different. Me, myself, I like this option. I think it's something new, it's something cool, it's in the right direction. The only thing these companies can do is try. Hopefully they've done enough R&D and research development to say that it's gonna work well, but we'll have to see what happens in that matter. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the bottom. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this bike itself. Are you guys excited for it? Do you guys, are you guys gonna miss the old ISO uh, speed decoupler? Uh, does this aero bike make me want Avenge? Hopefully Specialized brings back Avenge one day. I have no idea. I want to see Avenge so bad from Specialized. I, I don't know why Specialized got rid of Avenge. Um, but this, this makes me want it. This literally looks like not so aggressive down to for the bottom as a Madone used to be. It looks kind of like in between of the Amanda and the Madone. I'm excited for it. The bike looks super aero. It's going to be a hot bike. Trek is doing a great job of their bicycle lineup. So I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I will have hands on once this bike is released. I will have this bike in my hands. All right. Bye.